Well, let's continue on what's trending. Taking reactions to the speech made by Sim Fubara, the governor of River State, who on Tuesday during a convocation ceremony at Palmo University on Tuesday said that there is no price too big for him to pay for peace to reign in the state. The governor was speaking for the first time since the truce between himself and the former governor of River State, Nyesam Wike, was announced. He thanked the good people of River State for their support. Let me say this to my dear states. I call you my dear state because the support you have shown within this period is unmeasurable. From quarters, from all my I don't even know, I don't even have any contact with them. But they have stood by us. I want you to know that there is no amount that is too big to pay for peace. I will continue to pay it. Thank you. All right, Rafa, yesterday we took, um, what's his name, Daniel Boala saying, yeah. you know, really summing up the whole situation, calling it some sort of, you know, deal or political transaction, saying that, you know, let's move on. Mm. The case has been sealed. But let's take a Twitter reaction. This is from uh, Brother Bath, who wrote, an issue of national and international concern is brewing in which... Governor Sim Fubara is key player, and the governor really thinks that what River State people and Nigerians all over the world wants to hear is his speech at the third convocation and six Founders Day ceremonies of Pama University. This is most disheartening. Until Nigerians rise against these transactional politicians, the country will continue to slide down. What is Sim Fubara's intention with this? To divert attention or what? Sim Fubara, in case you don't know, please note that you owe River State and Nigerians a duty to react to allegations making the rounds that you signed, that you signed an eight point propounded by Tinubu to resolve your political battle with VK. The earlier you do it, the better. Rufai. I mean, one thing has to be said, except we start to push against these godfathers that they think they can just own the the prospect of a state and everything, it's not going to work. And it's not only in Nigeria, it's across Africa. Yeah. I mean, I was just citing the case of Sushikedi and, um, and uh, Kabila. If you go across most African countries, you always see the same play out. But the question is, how are we going to stop this? People will always fight their battle and win one way or the other. When Yaradua came, he had to assert himself against Ushagwa Basanjo. There will always be an anointed person but what's it in it for the people? That's the question. Uh, Mr. Fubara saying that he will do anything for peace, not carrying the people of rivers along, not explicitly telling them what this deal was about, is an insult to the rivers people. And he cannot play the ostrich now and dig his head in the sand without telling the people. They have seen this. As a governor, he needs to react to this. Is it true or not? What's in it for the people? And he should stop all of this hanky-panky he's playing. Enough of all these veiled messages. Go in there and say you will pay any price. What kind of peace is he paying any price for? But this was the same river people you came up to when the National Assembly was bombed. And you addressed the same people outside. But you've got to sell another deal that's not going to be in their interest now. And you're coming to say veiled messages by saying, I would do anything for peace. When you were giving your speech that day on top of a car after the National Assembly has been bombed, thank you for putting that video up. It was the reverse people you were talking to. Right. But all of a sudden now you've got to sign some funny deal in Abuja that you can't come out and tell the reverse people like this. He needs to be able to hold a press conference where he tells the people everything. Because in all of this, he's not speaking. He's not saying anything. And he also needs to be able to tell the people, not on the pages of memoir, but tell them now, what deal do you sign with you some week here? And also, what are you hiding, Governor Fubara? Why are you so scared? Since you have the mandate of the people now. Or could it be connected to Hitatu harassment by the EFCC? Let's bring the matters out. Let's stop broaching the matter. Well, all right.
Well, okay, two preliminary comments on some of the subjects yeah. that you've taken. First, I think uh, Mr. Amabipi Martins settled the matter with regard to Sim Fubara, the governor of Rivers, when he said it's a new fight. It's a political tyro. So he may have committed himself to something that he himself does not understand. And he identified Wiki as a smarter uh, politician. Because now he's been told to go and represent his budget. Does that mean what was done before is illegal? Nobody has told the uh, 27, uh, 25, 26 members who defected to the APC to go back to the PDP from whence they came. Well, I guess the president will say, well, he's uh, the leader of APC. Why should he ask people coming to his party to go back to where they're, they're coming from? The, uh, the lawmakers that defected, they've been able to smuggle into the agreement assurance that they should be paid salaries and emoluments and allowances, which means that it favors them. Because if the position of the uh, governor is that these persons have left the House of Assembly and their seats are vacant, they, they will not get a Christmas salary. Now they, they are being given Christmas salary for defection. But I think as... Uh, as uh, others have uh, pointed out, this is a matter that should ordinarily be resolved through due process in the court of law, not through...